Welcome to a Fandi Yakub show. This special mini series titled The Artistic Revolution is brought to you by Muskashi Films. Each episode is the unique story of a music instrument surviving or being caught and destroyed during the 1980s and 90s of civil war in Afghanistan. Welcome to a Fandi Yakub show. This is season 1, episode 2, The Sound of Mystery. Today our special guest is Rafi Zahir. During the civil war in Afghanistan, his father had a mission for him. He was burdened with a secret box. In the midst of a violent ethnic war, Mr. Rafi had to keep this black box secret and safe. Welcome to the show, Mr. Rafi. Thank you for inviting me. Before you tell us about your secret mission and the black box, tell us a little bit about your father. My father was a music teacher in Kabul, Afghanistan, before the civil war in Afghan Art Academy. When he played the violin, he seemed immersed in the sound, and everyone listening would be lost in some trance. He would not let the violin out of his sight, not even for a second. It was a treat for me to play his violin. What made him give up his dream job then? The warlords came to Kabul in 1992. All the people were cheering and happy for the victory of Muslim warriors who defeated the Russians and the communist government. A few people like my father were not very happy about the warlords' victory. They started shutting schools down, and condemning and associating anything with heresy. So my father lost his job after they shut the Afghan Art Academy and they arrested the principal. What happened to your father when they shut the school down? He was hiding for a while, then he decided to leave the country, but uh, first he came to me and was very scared. My son, this is something very important. I need you to keep this box safe. Do not open it till my return. What is it? Do not try it. Do not play it, for this violin has a mysterious sound that will hack a wandering soul. What do you mean, Father? If they find you with this box, they will kill you. Just keep it safe and secret. There will be music in the future. I have hope. Years later, I found out he had given me this black box, the last violin in Afghanistan. All music is banned, and playing music is a crime. They started burning instruments and persecuting musicians and music teachers. Trials were very brief, and hanging was usual in the middle of an intersection to put fear in the hearts of people. Fear was the weapon, and it was working very well. How did you keep it safe when the civil war got worse? I started uh, selling gum and cigarettes in the town market with a friend of mine. He would come over sometimes, and I started to trust him. And I wanted to tell someone about the fact, and I had to keep it secret for a long time. I opened it and played it a few times alone. So you told your friend about the violin, and then what happened? Yes, uh, then one day the Taliban caught my friend and tortured him for not praying on time, and he told them about my instrument. They came and arrested both of us again, and we were taken to Big Shot Commander, and he started screaming and yelling. <laughs> Well, I told him it was a music instrument, and he asked me to play a piece for him. He fell in love with this sound, just like my father had told me about the mystery of sound hacking into a soul. He asked me to stay with him, and he would not tell anyone about this as long as I played for him every night. This Taliban commander broke every loyalty 
and his love for the sound saved the last violin in Afghanistan. Wow. That's a very, very unusual ending. Where is the violin now? I still have it and I'm attending a music school here in Berlin. I have hope to go back one day when Afghanistan is stable again so I can start teaching music just like my father. Mr. Rafi, thank you for sharing your inspiring story with us. And we wish you the best and hope that one day you'll return when it's stable again. So the whole country can have the privilege of enjoying the mysterious sound of your father's violin. Afghanistan currently desperately needs ambitious, talented, courageous artists like yourself to heal the wounds of the past to create a harmonious future. Thank you for having me. It was therapeutic talking to you. Thanks to our listeners. We will see you next time.